So for today's video, we're in New York for Fashion Week and New York has some of the best places to eat. So you guys are gonna follow me. So we're gonna go to some of my favorite places for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Um, we're gonna do brunch first because it's kinda late, but I'm starving. We're gonna go to this place called While We Were Young. It's amazing, it's so pretty, and the food is great. While We Were Young is such a beautiful restaurant. I first spotted it on Instagram. I saw tons of people going and I was so jealous. I was like, I need to go there and take some cute pictures. If you have an Instagram aesthetic or even just want some cute pictures, come here. It's becoming a really popular spot in New York City and I 100% understand why. And I also love that the crew was totally okay with me being obnoxious with my cameras. I guess they're just used to people taking tons of pictures in there. But for a drink, I ordered this lavender ginger like spritzer. The waiter suggested it to me, but it was so good. I never had anything like it. And my mom ordered an appetizer. I was filming when she ordered, so I have no clue what this actually is. But it was like squash and either like mozzarella or ricotta cheese. I don't know, but it was good, so I ate it. For our actual entrees, my mom got avocado toast and I got a bison burger. Yes, I did eat a burger for breakfast, but I love burgers. Also, I love fries. I have a really bad problem. I eat french fries probably like every single day. I order them as a side with everything and their fries were really, really good here. It was definitely a 10 out of 10. <laughs> And they also gave us free dessert, which is pretty cool. I'm not sure why, but it was really, really good. And it had an edible flower, which is definitely a new thing for me. So now we're heading to lunch. Before we go to some events, we're gonna go to Nomo Kitchen. It's a really popular place here in New York City, actually. The food is so good. The place is beautiful. I highly recommend it. The atmosphere of Nomo definitely has city vibes. I love the way it feels in there. There's a lot of good music playing, there's good energy, and I love that the rooftop is completely see-through, so there's a lot of bright light and you can see a lot of the buildings, which is really nice. For my drink here, I ordered a virgin mojito, which is basically a mojito without any alcohol in it. I get these all the time because they're so, so good. Seriously, if you've never had one, I highly recommend them. Like I said, I do get them everywhere, but no lie, this was probably the best place that's ever made them before. And then for my entree, I did get a pizza. I know, burgers, pizza. Guys, I seem so unhealthy, <laughs> but I got a margarita pizza, which is basically basil and mozzarella cheese, and it was so good. It was a flatbread pizza, actually. You guys know I never lie to you. Do do I ever, do you see that in the corner? I ordered a side of fries. Yes, I did. They were amazing. <laughs> and then we got a dessert. We got this like chocolate mousse pot, I think it was called, but it was so good. So now we're going to dinner. I'm so hungry. We're going to this place called 230 on Fifth Avenue. It's a rooftop place, which if you're in New York City, it's definitely bucket list to eat dinner on a rooftop. You see the amazing skyline of all the buildings and you get amazing food at the same time. Whether you live in New York City or you're just visiting here on vacation, doing some sort of activity or eating on a rooftop is definitely a bucket list thing you have to try when you're here. Rooftop restaurants are one of my favorite places to eat when I'm in New York City because you get a beautiful view of the city, you can get amazing pictures and amazing food. 230 on Fifth Avenue is actually a buffet, so downstairs you get your food and then you can bring it all up to the rooftop. I love the fact that they have palm trees mixed with the city skyline. It definitely feels like you're on vacation. And they give you these little wristbands that make you look like you went to a festival or <laughs> something. To drink, I got pineapple juice, which was really rad because not a lot of places sell pineapple juice and I love it. But like I said, it's buffet style, so you can get literally whatever you want and just pile up. I was eating bacon in this scene because I love bacon. Sorry, vegans. But yeah, if you go downstairs to where the buffet is, it's actually a hotel and they have like a little bar and club inside. So it's definitely got a cool atmosphere and places that you can chill. Me and my cousin Ashley did like the little photo booth that they have in the little club area. It's a really fun place to go if you just want to hang out and have some food. I highly recommend checking it out. So now we're gonna get dessert, which is my favorite part. <laughs> we're gonna go to this place called Cha Cha Matcha. We've been talking about it since we've gotten here, and I love matcha, which is basically green tea. They have ice cream drinks, and it's the cutest place ever. I'm gonna get some ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get the ice cream because it's been what I've been craving the whole entire time I've been here. 
We had been talking about Cha Cha Matcha the whole entire trip and we got lucky and ran into one while shopping. They do have multiple locations all across the city. We went to the one in Tribeca. As you can tell, it looks like a little candy wonderland in there. Everything is so cute. You kind of just want to take everything home even though it's not my aesthetic. I literally did not care. I was like pink is pretty much my new favorite color. Now that I'm here, um, you can see them making all of the matcha which is really cool. There's all these glass countertops and everything. Even the napkins, even the sugar packets had these cute little like matcha puns on them everything is adorable and let me tell you this is the best ice cream I've ever had like I'm not trying to exaggerate the best ice cream I've ever had I love green tea it's one of my favorite flavors that things can come in and now that I've had it in ice cream form I feel complete and I'm so happy if you do like green tea highly recommend trying this there are a couple other drinks that my parents got like they have like coconut and they have just like coffee matcha they even have like a rose hibiscus but as you can see, there are so many good places to eat in New York City. You can never run out of places to eat. If you guys would like me to make a part two of my favorite places in New York City to eat, because trust me, there are many, leave a comment below and also give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to see more of my videos. And also, don't forget to check out my links in the description. I'll have my Twitter, my Instagram, my Snapchat, all of that will be down there. I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video.